supermarket. Shopping cart clang. Magic doors with open and shut. Colours glow under bright white light. So many breakfasts, lunches and dinners. It's all at a special, necessary, very real place. The supermarket. The supermarket is a whole world of its own. Where does all this crunchy, munchy, sweet, sour, fiery, frozen, fabulous food come from? The doors don't really open by magic. When an electric eye overhead sees you coming, it starts a motor to open the doors. It all begins on farm. Our food comes from places with lots of sunshine, rich soil and clean water. Certain states are famous for certain foods. Iowa for popcorn, Vermont for maple syrup, Michigan for cereal, Wisconsin for cheese, Idaho for potatoes, Massachusetts for cranberries, Florida for oranges, California for grapes, Georgia for peaches and peanuts. Farmers make decisions every day during the long months of growing. At harvest time, workers pick the fruits and vegetables. They pack everything neatly in boxes and load the boxes onto trucks. Picking fruits and vegetables can be painful, low-paying work. Cesar Chavez 1927-1993 became a hero for workers when he founded the National Farm Workers of America. Small trucks, big trucks, gigantic trucks all rev up their engines. Every night drivers take off from farms or warehouses. They zoom down the highway toward your town. Among many other foods, American Indians introduce to the rest of the world chocolate, potatoes, tomatoes, beans, peppers, and most important, corn. Some form of corn appears in more supermarket foods today than probably anything else. In early America, most people were farmers. American Indians taught the new arrivals what to grow. Families grew all their own food. Later, they traded food with one another to get other things they needed. They started using money to buy things at town marketplaces. Soon there were general stores where you could buy almost anything and little. Family run grocery stores, mum and pop stores. Stores became bigger, dividing items into different departments. Now we have an amazing place where every morning workers have a whole super market all ready for you. They have unpacked thousands of boxes and arranged everything in the shelves. Just so. Bananas are the most popular fruit, followed by apples, watermelons, oranges, cantaloupes, grapes, grapefruits, strawberries, peaches and pears. 
You can find more variety in the fruit and vegetable section than anywhere else. Fresh, juicy, strange, familiar. Shoppers look, touch, sniff, compare, weigh and watch out for automatic sprayers. Bed of crushed ice keep the meat and fish fresh. Butchers cut or grind meat into different sizes and wrap packages in plastic. For most of human history, food has often spoiled before it could be eaten. Not until the 1800s did people learn how to preserve food by sealing it inside metal cans. Around 1830, the English figured out a way to chill their food with machines. According to surveys, the top reasons why shoppers pick a particular store are location, prices and selection. The best smells float around the bakery. Bakers sometimes bake thousands of donuts a day and at least a dozen different kinds of bread. Just about everyone stops in the dairy section. Behind all the eggs, milk, yogurt and cheese is a refrigerated area keeping everything cold. A stamp on many fresh foods give an expiration date, the day on which the food is no longer fresh. A sweater is handy in the frozen foods section where the air is coldest. Zippy music makes some people hum along or dance right in the aisle. The store is packed with cereal, soup, spices, and even non-foods. What is a non-food? Something in a supermarket that we don't eat like toilet paper, laundry soap, toothpaste, shampoo, and magazines. At the checkout counter, people try to pick the shortest line. An electronic scanner reads the barcodes on most products and prints out the prices. A cash register adds up the cost of your food. Baggers ask, paper or plastic, and pack up your groceries. Think about all the people who move food from the farms to your kitchen shelves. The average wait in the checkout line is eight minutes. Americans spend more than $440 billion a year at our supermarkets. Over half of shoppers, especially women, use a shopping list to make sure they don't forget anything. The average shopping list contains 22 items. Still over half of what shoppers buy in a store is not on their list. The supermarket is never quite the same from day to day. New items are added all the time, especially from around the world. Some markets have other stores right inside worlds of their own. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please click like. If you have any stories you would like me to add to my channel, please leave a comment below. Please subscribe to my channel.